Hey, what's up, guys? The Polish Piper Nick here. I'm back after another hiatus. So, here I am. Uh, I'll talk about what's been going on. Make it brief. Um, let's see. Back in May, I got injured at work. Cut my finger real bad. I think I may have talked about that. Um, had like a week off. From work of that, and uh, then I went away for my birthday, and uh, then uh, hold on one second. I never use matches. Uh, I'm using them today. So, oh, I'm smoking Orlick Golden Slice. I want to try the, uh, the Kentucky, uh, ah, that Orlick, Gold, Dark Kentucky, or Orlick Dark Kentucky, that I want to try. And using my Kill Shot Pipe Tamper, the Polish Piper. So Orlick doesn't really want to stay lit. To my writer. All right. Now we're talking. So yeah, I injured my finger at work back in May. Then I went away for my birthday at the end of May, and then I've been just working like my ass off, just working my ass off. So much has been going on at work. And then at the end of June, I went to uh, an event called Cigarnival in Easton, Pennsylvania. I went there with my brother-in-law, and uh, met a couple YouTubers while I was up there. I was the uh, celebrity over there. <laughs> I met up with uh, V Rich three seven three three. If you guys remember him, I used to make a lot of videos with him, and I uh, met up with. Tay, the smoking pipe liner. Jeff, Silver Shadow. There weren't, I don't think there were any other YouTubers. But we had a great time. I did the two day event. Uh, so did uh, Tate and Jeff. Uh, v Rich did the one day. Um, and yeah, I got, I got a shit ton of cigars for the ticket price, man. And it was it was great, and a couple of the uh, cigar guys actually uh, recognized me from La, La Jugada and La Zona, La Zona cigars. They recognized me from Instagram. I got to hang out for a few minutes and talk with Jonathan Drew of Drew Estate Cigars and Pipe Tobacco, and he uh, he was he's really freaking down to earth, man. I tell you. Um, we were just talking, uh, just random things, and uh, I asked him about the Undercrown Flying Pig, uh, when it's going to be available, because it's not really available in the U.S. right now, uh, it's in other markets, but he said, give me your email, and that's it, gave him my email, he emailed me the next day after the event, and uh, a week later, I got uh, an Undercrown Flying Pig cigar. Uh, a Herrera Esteli aged cigar and a Herrera Esteli hat, which is freaking awesome, man. From the man himself, Jonathan Drew. So, and uh, Drew Estate Dave from Instagram, Dave Lafferty, he recognized me, said, What's up? He came to talk to me. Some Instagrammers, they uh, saw me there, which is pretty freaking cool. I just had a great time with Rich, my brother in law. Uh, smoking Pipeliner, Silver Shadow, Silver Shadow's friends, Tate's friends. It's a great freaking time. Got a lot of cigars for the price. Had a bunch to drink. Uh, I got absolute shit faced the Friday night. If my brother-in-law was on YouTube, he'd tell you. <laughs> but, uh...
Oh, and I've also been on a weight loss journey, as some of you already know via Instagram. I've lost 80 pounds, and uh, people are like, wow, holy shit, look at you, man, when I was uh, up at Cigar and I'm like, that, no, you look good, man. I'm like, thanks, thanks. So I'm really happy, really proud of myself. My wife is doing the same weight loss journey as I am. So I couldn't be happier with uh, the way things are going, health-wise. Financially, they could be better, but at least I'm working, so I shouldn't be complaining. So, other than that, other than that, um, I uh, oh, I went on vacation with my wife and uh, her family for a week, which is pretty cool. Good to get away. And uh, yeah, that's, I guess that's pretty much it. And then, I, oh, I won money at the casino while on vacation. I won 1200 bucks. So I'm thinking, all right, I can get a bow. I split the money with my wife because that, that's all our money together. So you can call me, eh, you, you little punk. You should just kept the money. Well, happy wife, happy life. All I need is just 500 bucks, and that's it. She can keep the rest. I was going to buy a compound bow for hunting, for turkey and for deer this this year, and but things arose. My car died. I needed to replace the battery. I had to call out call out of work one day to get it replaced. Um, and uh, my wife's car took a shit. She was driving while it was downpouring, and her wipers stopped working. So my battery cost 140 freaking dollars. I have to buy other uh, accessories to uh, get the job done. I have to get a uh, wiper transmission for my wife's car. That's another 170 dollars. And I dropped my wife off at work today at her job. And I took her car back down to the mechanic. It's at Pet Boys right across the street. And uh, the labor... The, the every the whole work's going to be in about another 150 160 dollars so so the bow is going to have to wait so not really happy about waiting for a bow but there are other priorities oh and bills too you know well you can't go hunting if you don't have a car and you don't pay the bills so that's pretty much it uh just got the day off today on sunday And, um, yeah, don't know really what else to talk about. Oh, look at my box of matches. Nat Sherman matches. Fight cleaners. Be jealous. Oh, I never said I was smoking my tobacco. My Nirup pipe. This is one of my very first pipes. I've neglected this and most of my pipes because I'm a big time cigar smoker. I was a cigar smoker before a pipe smoker. I really like this pipe, but the only problem is when I'm smoking, I want to be able to see inside the bowl. Like with, like with most of my pipes, even my straight pipes, my billiards, I can see into. But this, as you can see, it's like concave. So there's that lip right there I can't see into it but it smokes good so I want like a really nice Danish pipe I haven't been buying pipes recently I wish I had it in the budget to get a couple of your guys pipes out there in the pipe carvers community so but uh yeah that's pretty much it uh, I've been watching a couple videos here and there due to my my freaking crazy work schedule. It's hard to like catch up with people, even on Voxer sometimes. So uh, see, uh, there's so many new faces, man. Oh my gosh, it's good, but like, how do you keep up with everybody? You can't watch every single person's videos. 
So I feel bad, but hey, what can you do, you know? I mean, I wonder what it feels like to be the Dagners, you know? Everybody asking them questions, and sometimes they can't get around, and people get pissed off when they don't get a reply from the Daggers, and you just got to relax. A lot of people are asking these guys so many questions. They were my help when I first started Stogie Farts. He was also my help in the beginning. So I just got to hang out, chill, relax, and that's it. And I learned most of my stuff just by watching people, so. Oh, uh, shout out to Burly Man 40. Happy belated birthday. I know I'm late on that. I haven't wished anybody happy birthday this whole year. People have wished me happy birthday, so I feel like a total scumbag for not getting back to people. Uh, but hey, uh, there's some other shout outs, man. See, I'm freaking terrible at this. I'm a horrible YouTuber. Uh, well, I'm going to, before I make this video way too long, it's already at 11 minutes and 17 seconds, I'm going to get going, enjoy my Sunday, because i got to pick up my wife's car in a little bit. Who knows how long that's going to take. God, and uh, get some lunch. I'm trying to hang out with my cousin, do something today. So, I'll catch you guys later.